priority of the day. Get car cleaned. Thank you to everybody who told me where the new new look is in Brighton. What would I do without you guys? Oh my god, Zara baby is just the best. I can't wait to one day make baby Zara hauls. This would be so cute. Oh my god, if you have a small human, I'm really jealous of you right now. Because Honestly, I don't even know how I got this distracted. This is very cute. Okay, so if anyone is wondering where I would get my nails done, there's a little salon just here. And Ella does my nails and she is so cute. And I'm really excited about this. Today it is Saturday. I was meant to start this vlog on Tuesday, believe it or not. I have had the worst week. It has been, it's just been a lot. And you know, when you just are still kind of like processing a lot of things, that is me right now. And I'm very excited actually, because today I'm doing a little road trip. My friend messaged me yesterday and invited me to stay at hers. I'm gonna leave it as a surprise to who I go and see, but you can guess in the comments if you want to. But yeah, she invited me to stay with her and I thought, yeah, do you know what? I don't have anything booked in this weekend and I could really do with having some really nice relaxing time, just one on one with a friend, getting away from like my current surroundings and the week just got worse literally <laughs> after I booked that in. So I'm really, really glad to be going away today. You will notice that the birthday decorations are still up. I'm pretty sure we're like halfway into the month at this point. I actually lose track of the dates in October. I was away for the week last week, so literally nothing nothing got sorted. But I also wanted to leave this here as a reminder to show you guys what I got for my birthday, which I'm just gonna run you through really quickly in this vlog. I'm not gonna do a whole like sit down shebang like I always have, but yeah, I wanted to show you what I got for my birthday. I thought I'd show you the first thing, which you might have seen in some vlog clips because I've been wearing it for a little while now. But this is a little necklace from Ryan. It's a gold chain with a little diamond on it. 
so pretty so subtle so perfect for wearing literally every single day and that was what he really wanted for my birthday gifts this year were to be things that i would love and use every single day so we're also going to unbox finally <laughs> my other gift from him which was so lovely this would have been more than enough but he spoils me so yeah we're gonna unbox the other gift which i realized in the last vlog like lots of you were confused over whether ryan got me the chanel hat because we went to chanel twice and i actually when we were watching it back i was like actually that wasn't clear what ryan got me but he didn't get me the hat i got myself the hat but there's another little chanel item behind me which i'm gonna unbox with you now finally he will be so pleased oh i actually hate like ruining these boxes they're so pretty really keeping you guys in suspense here i'm so sorry i'm not doing this on purpose so ryan wanted me to have something that i would use every single day and i thought it was time for a new card holder and this is so stunning will go with everything there were some chanel 19 versions of this but in a nude but i just thought the color wasn't going to work and they were a soft leather and i really wanted like a grainy leather i did have a ysl one which has held up very well it's starting to fray at the corners now though i was bought that for my 25th birthday by an old friend but yeah i thought it was time for a new one i'm very excited to get my cards into this it's a really good excuse for me to sort my card holder out as well because it looks evil there's so many receipts pouring out of it so everyone in my life will be really pleased to see i have a fresh card holder that doesn't have receipts falling out of it so this is the table of birthday things on my birthday it was just like straws and cake and bits like that the beanie baby has been out from the birthday as has the tiara and microphone but also have a little lilac beanie from zara which i just loved that was from ryan my aunt and my uncle got me some lovely white company diffuser and candle sets so gorgeous i actually can't wait to unbox these and smell them we have some gin we have some wine my loved ones they know me so well ryan also got me some more syrups which i am so over the moon about because i was so in need of that this one i've actually been using and just putting it back every day because i knew i'd forget about it but this one is so good guys caramel fudge waffle cone so so good more rosé have some little chocolates in here these are all vegan chocolates which is so lovely that box is just stunning and everything was pink like everyone fully like i didn't even tell people about the birthday theme but they really got it i also got some lovely jewelry for my birthday so i have a bangle which is from lauren a little Raimi bracelet from my mum. this is the clover one and then this bracelet from my friend cat i can't remember where this is from but i will try and link to as many of them as i can but yeah i love how they look together and i love how they go with my apple watch strap so cute but anyway i need to get on and finish packing i've got my wellies out this might give you a clue as to where i'm going if you haven't already guessed i've got a few bits that i'm just going to throw in the back of the car because they're not going to fit in my overnight bag i've got two jackets here I like my options. Oh, this fragrance. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Lauren booked a trip to Centre Parks for me and my friends for our birthday, which was so lovely of her. And we actually did a little trip to Bath. And whilst I was there, I got some new Penhelligans fragrances. I finally picked up Cairo, which is the best scent. And then I also picked up another one. So I also picked up Helfetti, which is a really dark, deep, like oody fragrance. It's really gorgeous. I think it's a really good unisex fragrance. Like I would wear this at night, but it would also smell incredible on Ryan. But Cairo is much more like daytime for me, still a really strong scent. I wore it out properly, like not to like just someone else's house for the first time yesterday. And the men that were washing my car commented on this and I was like yeah good to know everyone can smell it they're quite pricey fragrances so you want them to last and to be like noticeable and I think this is going to be one of those fragrances that like a lot of people comment on by the sounds of it from reviews from other people so yeah I'm going to spritz that on today now I've decided what I'm wearing which is this black jumper dress I would normally wear my Fendi boots with this I wore my Fendi boots with the green dress yesterday which worked so beautifully but they're not the best for like a longer drive I would say so I'm just going to wear my converse with this today a pair of white converse because they're going to go with everything else that i'm wearing this weekend but yeah this dress is from pretty little thing i don't know if you can really see the detail on it it has like a tie waist to cinch you in which i really like it's got quite a wide knit on it i think you can kind of see here very similar to a cream jumper that i have from pretty little thing so yeah that's what i'm wearing today i was really struggling for what to wear in the car that i wouldn't have to like change out of i think i'm gonna take my converse gonna take my boots got my wellies just in case i've also got a little scarf in here which i'm very excited to unbox and take with me i thought it would work really nicely with this but also with the leather jacket that i have i think I'm, i might wear this on the way home tomorrow with just like trackies maybe yeah i thought this would be really cute with it Ooh. 
how cute is this? Just like the most lovely warm tan colour. Oh yeah. So I thought that'd be really beautiful with this jacket, but also with this leather jacket too. I also have a hat coming, which I'm very excited about that arriving. It's like a little pink acne hat. But yeah, that's going to look so cute. I'm going to just throw some last bits in here, make sure I've got everything, and then we're going to get on the road. This little one is going to go and stay with Nanny, aren't you? Yeah? Oh, look at her. She's just everything. I also picked up the most incredible bunch of dried flowers yesterday from a place in Brighton called, I think it's called Foam or Fom. It's honestly the most incredible dried flower studio you've ever seen. Yeah, this view is just making me very, very happy. Okay, already I am loving the scarf. It's so cute. Got my little Louis Converse. These are new ones. Everyone always asks how I keep them so clean. I have a dirty pair for, that I wear to like festivals and things and then I have this pair which I literally only wear if I'm like going to someone's house or going out for lunch so yeah that is my secret I am sadly not magical okay so I've got my things in the back I've dropped the dog off at my mum's she's given me a slice of peanut butter toast we are on the road <laughs> So this is my friend who invited me to stay. Thank you for being such a good host. So nice of you to invite me. Have you guessed where I am yet? New best friend right here. Look who I've got here. The actual person that invited me, obviously, because <laughs> Bo didn't invite me, sadly. Um, you would what, love to, though. What are you cooking for us tonight? So, look, we're hopefully it's gonna work out okay. <laughs> I'm hopefully gonna try and make a veggie chickpea korma. Oh, completely like vegan veggie. I've not made it in ages because, like we were just talked about, Alex usually cooks, but I do love to cook, and I'm I'm okay at cooking. So I suppose you can be the person. Who She's good at everything, that. guys. She's being really modest. Not at all. <laughs> We've got the loveliest gems for our second mm -hmm. pint of gin. cheers. Cheers, babe. <laughs> I'm finally here. Oh. I can't believe this day is actually come. It's amazing. I know. You come all, I mean, you've driven a long way, so. I have. <laughs> this trip has been, what, two years? Three years in yeah. the making? Two years in the making. Yeah. And yeah. you meant to come over. She's a lived here a long time. Back, and um, we, we effed up the dates. We messed up the dates a little bit. <laughs> Honestly, that chat is so funny. When I look back, and you'd said the 28th, and I'd said the 25th. Yeah. And we both had like said, I was like, wow, this is mine and Victoria's brains like yeah. in action yeah. here. Like yeah. we're both just like one on one track and we're not like taking yeah. a moment to actually like fully read. Yes, neither of them realised we were in a different conversation entirely. Yeah, we're in our own little worlds, guys. I feel like that really sums up our brains. Yeah, yeah I've made it here and she's really spoiling me. And well, doesn't well, she look so pretty? Let's just wait until you get the food. Before no. we assess this, because it might not be great. I'm hoping no, it's going to be great. I feel, do you know what? I feel really weird about being here in person. What? You know, when you haven't like seen someone in so long, it's like, I can't believe you're real. I know, I know, it's been like two years, hasn't it? We were talking about when it was that I saw you, and it was yeah. so long ago. That's a really long time to not see one, someone. I know, I know. Yeah. This is so nice. Got our gins. I'm very much looking forward to trying my little curry. Oh, your kitchen lighting is very good. Oh, oh. Yeah, great. Mm. <laughs> well, doesn't this look delish? Well done. Oh, I hope it's good. Ooh. No, this is, this is gonna be good. Victoria is about to kick my ass. Pray for me. <laughs> say energized yeah. but no <laughs> energy -less. i'm glad we did it though me too 
Otherwise, we might not have done any workout today. No, so I wouldn't have. We've done all the, we've done all our obliques and all our legs. Pretty good. For today's outfit, we've got my Chanel beanie, finally getting a chance to wear it. I think this is its first proper wear. I've got this misguided leather jacket, which I have been loving recently, and it's been sat in my wardrobe for about a year now. I haven't been wearing it, but I finally kind of figured out a way that I like to wear it. I'm actually gonna be wearing Converse on my feet. I'm just wearing socks at the moment because this carpet is not one that I want to dare put my Converse on. I was having a hernia doing my makeup in this room earlier. I literally live for the cream carpets. It is gorgeous. It gives me so much anxiety. I'm very much matching the room right now. It's very cute. But yeah, I'm gonna be wearing Converse as well. My socks also match the jacket. How pleasing is that? And then I've just got a little black body on underneath and then a pair of Varley leggings just for comfort for the drive home. Bye, best friend. Bye, Susie. Bye. I love you so much. You're so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> These Honestly, two. I've never seen him more smitten with someone. He's absolutely in love with he you. He is like, but I did come in and introduced myself as his new best friend. Yeah. So I wonder if there's like something. Oh, look at you. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe there's something like, in that. I have a new best friend. Now. <laughs> I've just told him we're best friends. <laughs> oh, you oh two. Hi. These two are Hi. a joy. <laughs> oh, hello. I can't normally film like this because I'm normally driving. Just stopped at the service station and got a Sabi's. I got the Caramel Crunch Frappuccino with oat milk. Very good, I really like it. It's got like little bits in it. I really like it when Frappuccinos have like bits that you can like chew on. Is that weird? It's been so lovely. I loved seeing Victoria. I honestly had the best time. It was so great. I was just like, I just want to do what you would normally do when you're at home on your weekend. Like, I just want to chill, nothing crazy. And it was honestly the nicest way to catch up on two years of basically not having seen each other. It was so lovely. I honestly had the best time. Also, it's the Hats First Rodeo and I'm loving it. I'm really, really loving it. I miss wearing beanies so much. Oh my God. Also, before I eat my last one of these, I fully forget to vlog it. These are the best. If you're vegan, you need to get involved with these. They have a white chocolate one, which is also good, but not the best. But then they also have a salted caramel one, which is everything that I wanted the white chocolate one to be. So would highly recommend this one and the salted caramel one. They are so, so good. If you liked Kinder Buenos and really miss those, you need this. Hi, baby. We're going home now. Oh, yeah. Morning, Nala. Working hard or hardly working? This is an accurate representation of me at my laptop every day, to be fair. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday. I've had a really lovely morning so far. Went for a lovely little beach walk. Got absolutely blown to pieces because it is very windy outside. And I've just come home to a very big Zara order and I've placed the biggest aloe yoga order this morning. So I'm on a real shopper's high right now. Come on, up and at them. Got a whole day ahead of you. So much fun to have. I think this little one takes the seasons changing about as well as I do. I also just want to stay in bed all day. tell you about this bronzer which i'm really liking it's the bobby brown bronzing powder in the shade natural I really like it it's a matte bronzer and this shade is just like bang on what i needed not too dark not too warm not too cool can use it as an eyeshadow it's like the perfect tone for me really good for contouring as well because it is a matte shade i'm really enjoying it i actually got sent a few bobby brown bits and i'm really excited to try them on <laughs> Oh 
This one that I've also been alternating between, this is Cairo, but this one is a lovely kind of like daytime scent that actually is quite good for days and evenings. So I'm going to be wearing this one today. It's by Estee Lauder. It's called Infinite Sky and it's a really lovely like musky, ambery scent. jump the gun too soon but basically it feels like winter already <sighs> anyway i have got a few things from zara here to show you i think a couple of things are meant to go in my winter coat edit which is why there is a ginormous h&m box in the background as well but i'll show you just a couple of the coats from zara because zara doesn't take up a huge portion of that video so i'm not really spoiling very much for you so i'm just going to kind of show you everything in these zara boxes it's going to be basically as much of a surprise for you as it was for me because i ordered these i think before my birthday before i went away basically i've just forgotten what is in everything the h&m order i did quite a while back and it took i think three weeks to come something really messed up with their shipping it was not good so that's going to be interesting but yeah I'm excited to go through the zara bits okay so firstly we have what is probably my favorite item that i have ordered i love a boot i love a sock boot this time of year this is like my go-to yeah really excited to try these on and then these ones are a bit heavier they feel like they're going to be more bulky so this could be some coat Okay, so we have two coats in here. Oh, I have a teddy bear coat from Zara this season, but it's like a jacket, it's short, it's really lovely. I have enjoyed wearing it so much. This one is a really nice, like in between. I love the actual feel of the teddy bear fur. It feels really lovely. I'm excited to try this on. I'm just hoping the length is okay. And then I threw this one into the coat edit because we all love a tan coat zara do one like this every year so do mango h&m do as well i feel like there might be a h&m one so we can decide which one is the better one when the coat edit comes i think that'll be the next video that you see i've got to get my bum into gear and film that this week but yeah i picked up this really gorgeous tan soft trench coat it's got a tie waist really really lovely such a gorgeous tan color and then we have the final box first up i'm really excited about this it's so cute we have this blazer very very cute it's got like a tan base and then it's got a darker like dark brown burgundy check woven through it i thought this could be kind of cute i'm not sure but I, I wanted to give it a go i don't really have anything like this in my wardrobe i don't think i've ever had anything in this kind of check in my wardrobe before and there was something about it that was just calling my name so i picked it up it was 69.99 got a size small and then also have this little ribbed top with a high neck in a gorgeous brown colour. This is just going to be an absolute staple in my wardrobe. I've got a size small. It costs $9.99. I'm still on my hunt for a straight leg pair. We will see how I get on. I've got a size small and these are $29.99. I'm not holding out hope, you guys. Then we have another pair of leather trousers, which are a different style. These are more of a legging, apparently, but they look quite wide on the bottom but these in a size small they have a zip side which i think could work really nicely for me oh we've got another pair of leather trousers to try on these are more of a paper bag waist they could be the ones they look like a baggier fit but we will see because i want them to be like straight leg but still tight on the bum oh my god cute i picked up this crop tee this one actually doesn't look as cropped as my other ones i got this in a size small it's 5.99 that is the cutest colour ever. I picked up a few of this 
style of t-shirt they've definitely changed it i also had another little far-fetch arrival i picked up this little acne studios hat in like the pink color because i don't have a pink hat and i was like maybe i should have a pink hat the things i think when i'm late night shopping oh yeah cute i really like these two this was this is a good order. I am actually slightly obsessed with Farfetch. I need to just uh, come to terms with this now. I just think they do like the cutest luxury pieces. So yeah, this was my little order. My hair today is really not cute. It is hair wash day and I'm just literally trying to make it through. But yeah, we are having a little try on. So I love the boots. I think they're great. I would definitely say they run a little bit small as a size five. Like I am quite a small size five. So they're great for me. But I think if you were like a five and a half, I'd definitely size up. I'm not loving the blazer so much. I don't know what it is. I sometimes find that blazers just make me feel a bit too mature. I don't know. But I do really love the high neck tee that I have underneath it. I will show you properly. Hang on. Please hold. I think I'll get a lot of wear out of this one. It's very cute. Just really easy to style up. I can throw it on under a lot of different things. A really good one for autumn because it has sleeves, but they're not like long sleeves. So like quite good for layering under jackets and things. So the camel coat is really cute. Slightly annoying that it's just that kind of material that seems to crinkle really badly, which if it was a black coat, wouldn't be the end of the world, but you can really see it on lighter colors. So don't love that so much. But yeah, it is very cute. A really good one if you are shorter you can just kind of see that it comes to like mid calf length you guys i'm so happy this coat is as nice as i thought it was gonna be i'm so happy it's really really lovely it's a good length for me and the quality is just lovely it feels lovely to wear there's nothing like itchy or like weird texture about it it's so so gorgeous and the tone of this is just really beautiful like that lovely like beigey oatmeal biscuity color this one is making it into the coat edit Run, don't walk. Do not sleep on this one. It's really cute. It might not even be in stock by the time this actually goes up, so who knows? So I can confirm the cropped t-shirts are great. They just feel a bit rougher in texture, but absolutely fine. They still fit in a really similar way. As for the leather trousers, these ones would be great if they were just a little bit shorter because they're just a slightly awkward length. They also <laughs> are really gapy. And then there's a lot of room at the front as well, but I'm gonna try the others. We'll see how we get on. Okay, this pair are cute-ish, but not what I wanted. They're a bit more like paper bag e. If I wanted to wear something like this, I'd just wear my leather joggers. I don't think these are doing anything for me. So this set, I think, I'd have to say they're too long, really, for what I was going for. However, they are still kind of cute. Like, they don't look like they've had a full-on argument with my ankles, unlike the other ones. So, as a heads up, they run very, very small. I'm interested to know what little symbol the uh, label has on it. I got my regular size, just like all the others, just like every single other pair of leather trousers that I've got from Zara. And I really thought these weren't going on at first, but I'm in them. We're good. So don't be concerned if you start putting them on and you think there's no way they're actually gonna fit because the, apparently they will i'm just doomed to never have a cute pair of straight leg leather trousers Good afternoon everybody. I have just finished filming my autumn winter coat try on. It was long, it was difficult because the weather is playing games today. So the lighting was tricky, but we're just gonna roll with it because it is that time of year. But I actually just wanted to show you another new addition to my wardrobe. This is a little coat from New Look. It's like a stagey, greyy, greeny grey color. But yeah, I've just thrown this on quickly. I'm gonna do it up because it's very, very windy outside. That's why my hair is like this because I don't want it to get too tangled. But I'm just running to the post office to pick up a parcel that I completely forgot about. So I'm hoping it's still there. I really love this. It's nice and light as well. So like really good for this time of year. And I'm just wearing it with my Louis bag, my Varley leggings, Converse, little socks from H&M. These come as part of a set of like a range of new colors. So cute, I'm obsessed. And then the Zara t-shirt. And that's it. Yeah, I'm about to step outside and be blown to pieces. Wish me luck. Oh, and my lip color that I'm wearing today is Anastasia Beverly Hills Naked with like a brownie colored lip liner on from KKW Beauty. I think it's the Love Lip Liner. A very nice little combo. Good. 
good morning i actually forgot to vlog yesterday had every intention of vlogging mine and ryan's evening together we literally just binged watch you on the sofa it was gorgeous but in case you're wondering i did pick up my parcel and i'm going to show you what was in it because it is so so cute look at this it's like Barbie branding. This is like my dream product packaging. So cute. It even has like full instructions on the back in the kind of Barbie branding. I just think it's so cool. So yeah, this is the Kerastase dry shampoo. Oh my goodness. I love the dry shampoo. You guys will know I love the Living Proof one. I'm very excited to try this one because I'm yet to find a Kerastase product that I don't like. So fingers crossed this one is gonna be good. I'll give you my thoughts on it in the next vlog because annoyingly I've actually just put my Living Proof dry shampoo in my hair this morning. But anyway, just finished doing my hair and makeup, ready to film a reel this morning. So I'm gonna crack on with that. I'm gonna love you and leave you here. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you guys again on Monday for a new video for the coat edit. There's a lot of coats in that video, I hope you're ready. But yeah, I hope you have a great weekend. Love you, bye.